Okay, folks, we are back. Um, I've moved the camera so that you can kind of see a little bit closer uh, up of what's going on and the, the process that I'm, I'm using here. Uh, I think that's going to work out for us okay. All right, so first thing we're going to do, is I'm going to find my center. I know this is supposed to be an 8.5 by 11 sheet, so I'm going to use my T-square to make sure of what it is that I'm seeing. And if I square off of that line, I am actually seeing that this folder is nine inches. So if I want a, a middle center line on that, I'm looking at a four and a half inch. I'm gonna raise up just a bit, put me a mark right here at four and a half. So I'm gonna take my T-square and turn it. Remember a T-square is designed so that you can square off of an edge up against that square edge on it. So I want to square off of that edge and get myself a center line. I'm using an ink pen uh, for this portion. Uh, we will not use it for the whole thing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dash line down the middle of this sheet. And that's going to be important in a little while. So there's my center line, CL for center line. And then I'm going to take my green gun. Now, if I didn't have a green gun for this particular model, I would take and uh, use, you know, my regular firearm. Uh, of course, always remember, take your mag out, clear it, make sure it's racked out, make sure it's clean, there, there's no ammo. You don't want any accidents, safety first. So, since I know I'm making a taco style holster, and basically that just means that my leather is going to, to fold up and it's going to sew on one side and it's going to be rounded on the other side uh, in a taco pattern this kydex holster that i showed you a little while ago that of course is a taco style holster that i made years ago for this little block all right moving on so i'm going to take and i'm going to lay my firearm in and notice i've got a green gun gives you a really nice little rail here they put that in place for kydex holsters uh for the uh, sight channel uh, so i'm going to lay that on and i'm going to get myself about seven eighths of an inch from the end of the paper um, you know you can always take uh, another one of the tools we're going to use today is going to be our protractor but you can always take your little protractor and lay it in there and there's seven eighths right there so i'm centered up i'm seven eighths will make me a little mark because that's going to be important in a few minutes all right so i'm on my center line i'm at my seven eighths line i'm going to let this firearm lay over nice and gentle and what you should see, I hope you can see that. Uh, let me turn just a bit where I'll get a little more to it. But I know the lighting in here is, is not real good. It's, it's late at night. Uh, and I've got some bright light on so that I can see because I'm an old man. All right. But what you should be seeing, you see here is my center line. And what I've got is I've got 3 sixteenths of an inch of firearm or distance between that sight rail and my center line. Now, that's going to be real important in a few minutes, uh, but just trust me, in a taco-style holster, you want to get that distance. What's going to happen in a moment, I'm going to take my pencil, and I'll go ahead and do that now. Make sure I'm running pretty much square. I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to mark up against the edge of my firearm. I'm going to make me a nice pencil outline. Put me an outline all the way up. So, you see, let me get it where you can see. Yeah, I believe you can see that. All right, so you see I've got about 3 sixteenths of an inch from the firearm over uh, to my center line. And that's going to be important in a few minutes. So let's keep going, get back to what we're doing. I'm going to take that firearm, I'm going to put it back on my 7 eighths mark here, center line here, make sure my top is center line there, and I'm going to lay it to this side nice and easy so that it doesn't move make sure it stays fairly square looking all the way across it it will move on you a little bit and if it does just get yourself back in line i'm going to make my mark all the way around this side just like i did while i go on the other side it slid on me just a hair let me put it back here we go all right back up and around and down so what i wind up with is that now you should be able to get a pretty good view of that i'm trying to 
make sure you're out of the light there that's a little bit better right there so you see that i've got this gap here and that gap's going to be real important in a taco style holster because i'm going to fold that leather and i have to take into account the thickness of the leather on both sides against the thickness of this firearm which this uh, slide and I've already measured it once tonight, but I'm just going to show you again that that slide's got a three quarter of an inch thickness across here. So somehow I've got to make up for this three quarters of an inch. So three sixteenths, three sixteenths gives me three eighths, and that's going to give me my stretch because I don't want this thing to just be sloppy. I do want to have to force it in there. I do whenever I. I case that leather and get it good and wet i do want to have to be able to to push that down in there and to force it in there so that whenever it dries it dries to the shape of this firearm and it dries to only the shape of this firearm and it's going to fit it perfectly especially once we do the boning and all that but right now we're in the the, uh, the pattern making process but remember you've got to think ahead before you ever lay your firearm down on your manila folder you need to have in your head what this thing is going to look like what's it going, the shape of it and you know the style of it and all that you have to have that in your head so that you can figure out what you're going to do and how you're going to do it um I'm trying to think about a way that i can get this where you can see it a little better all right so anyway um let's just keep moving on the next video i'm going to change the camera set again and maybe i can get this thing where it's looking straight down on top of this pattern while we're working this pattern uh so just bear with me and i'll be right back